This week on Ask Travel, we talk about helpful tips for introverted travellers. Will I waste all my savings travelling? And travelling in 2021. Hi, I'm Daryl from Welcome to Travel. Hello, I'm Adam from Welcome to Travel. Welcome to another episode of Ask Travel. Ask Travel is basically us answering your questions about travelling, whether it be Australia or just backpacking in general, every single week. The best way to ask a question is on the YouTube comments below or on our Instagram story every week as well. I has no idea where those icons are, so we'll just go somewhere. That's where they are, somewhere. Well, uh, we'll start with by asking you a question first, Adam. You. So I have a question for you from May Dent. Um, how would someone cope if they are introverted at times, so they want some alone time at points? Great question. Thank you very much for the question. That's a really good question, and I think sometimes it can be um, can be a bit of a stereotype. Maybe that everyone that goes travelling is kind of really extrovert and they just want to be in like big groups all the time and they're partying all the time. It's just like one big kind of yeah convoy going up the coast or around Australia. It's really not the case. Um, Travelling is for so many different uh, types of people and we know that because we meet them every week on the Welcome to Travel Tours, very mixed groups. Um, and honestly, travelling introvert, uh, travelling, sorry, if you're a bit of an introvert and want some time alone is really, really easy. Um, maybe maybe even easier because um, you, you do actually have a lot of uh, opportunities to have that time alone and you might not uh, feel like someone like me who's always like, Oh, I, I need to meet somewhere in the next 10 minutes um, when I'm traveling yeah, from hostel to hostel. So um, yeah, it's really easy um, in a few different ways. There's quite often like quiet areas of the hostel, maybe like a common room um, or like a, like a dining area where you can maybe just take a book and chill in the corner. Or it could be on the balcony of a hostel, a rooftop. Um, they could be by a pool and you can just relax. But then there's kind of the destinations you're heading to as well. So. If you are in a city, I quite often like to just wander around the city without a plan by myself. That's actually a time I do like to be by myself. It could just be taking everything in uh, or listening to a podcast and just kind of wandering around, not really knowing what I'm doing, but kind of keen to see things. Um, and then also if you're in um, maybe a, a smaller town or maybe kind of a bit more in nature or like a coastal town, you've got opportunities to just go for a walk by yourself, sunset, sunrise. Um, yeah, just go and lay on the beach by yourself. There's plenty of time to be by yourself. Imagine if you're in a city or the town that you're from right now and you knew absolutely no one and you just kind of wanted to go do things by yourself. You've got that opportunity here, but kind of without the day-to-day -day pressures of you've got work the next day and that kind of thing. So yeah. yeah that's a good thing about solo traveling as well. You get to like spend time with yourself, isn't it? And you, you're not, controlled by like your friendship group and go oh we all have to do this like you're not forced to do anything it's just you can like travel on your terms in a way yeah and if you want to meet people then you're kind of in control of that and then if you don't want to see them the next day then you say no daryl i have a question from you for you <laughs> it's not from you from me question from daryl did i shave my yeah you should shave your beard um okay. question from jack pardo um, will I waste all my savings traveling? Oh, I really hope not, Jack. Oh, good question. D do I always get asked like the budget ones because I'm more of a tightest person? Yeah, that's exactly why. Okay, cool. Um, so yes, being from the north of England, um, we like to ensure that we keep as much money as possible and we don't waste that money. Um, I suppose like the real definition of like that question is will I waste like the, the word waste uh, on my savings traveling like you could end up spending quite a lot of money traveling undoubtedly like traveling is for like with fortunate people um, like it is a bit of a luxury at times to go traveling and I feel pretty fortunate that I have been able to travel to like so many countries and I have spent a hell of a lot of money traveling. Um, 
I think like just traveling like around Australia for like the first time, we must have spent like five or six thousand Australian dollars. It was a hell of a lot of money, I remember. And I pretty much ended up going down to like Melbourne with like no money at all. And pe people can see that as a bit of a waste and that you don't have any money, you don't have any savings, but like from, and this was back in 2011, but those memories and those experiences which I had at that time are gonna live with me for a lifetime as well. So even though I spent a hell of a lot of money um, traveling like specifically then, but also like in other times of my life, I would never class any travel experience as I've had as a waste. Like I've always learned something from it. I've created friendships from it. Uh, I'm very fortunate that I've got like friends all around the world now because of it. And from there, I've been able to like fly to Canada and stay with like some new friends, which I've made like over in Vancouver. And so it's, I don't see it as, ever as a waste. Do you need to be aware that you spend a lot of money traveling? Yes, you will. Um, but you can also budget like, uh, like correctly. Um, but I would never see it as a waste. It kind of depends why, like, why you're traveling as well, um, and how much money do you yeah. have, I suppose. So, if you, well, everyone, yeah, everyone does different things. You might, yeah, it, it's it's such a kind of subjective question to that person. But uh, I think waste would be, yeah, if you if you're looking to go traveling, you've probably got a bucket list of experiences, and the fact that you would have that already means it's not going to be a waste because you're kind of aiming for something at you. I've got one last question for you, Adam. Sweet. Uh, it's from Daria Kalai, I think. Is it safe to book now for next year? I assume that's for traveling. Yeah. Um, well, it was, it, I'd probably, yeah, I'll answer in a few different ways. Uh, thank you, Daria. Um, so in terms of booking like flights for next year, I'd probably wait. Um, there's been a recent government inquiry into the working holiday visa here. And there's already been some early recommendations on that. And yeah, that's kind of ongoing in terms of when the working holiday maker program will be restarted. Um, if you actually sign up for our newsletter below, you will know as soon as we know. Um, so that's a really good way to find out. Um, I would kind of make plans for uh, next year, but I wouldn't be booking the flights and I also wouldn't be right now applying for the visa until there's some news from the government and um, like I say, we can give you that news. Um, we've had a lot of people asking about booking our trip, um, about yeah being able to book our tour for next year. And we've, yeah, people are doing that right now uh, because we're allowing a lot of flexibility because yeah, obviously, we know the situation is not normal. Um, so if you were looking to like guarantee a spot on the Welcome to Travel Tour, then I would say that that's safe to do because um, we have extremely low deposits of like $99. And we're also um, letting people change the date as many times as they want for free up until 14 days before, which is uh, really, really flexible. And we're also letting people just book things open dated like without a date on as well. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of flexibility there, but I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't get the visa right now um, because yeah, it totally depends when you want to get here. If you want to come next December and you get it granted now, then you wouldn't be able to, you'd have to be here by next September because you only have a year to start it. So yeah, I'd kind of say it's safe to book our tour, but if you wanted to wait for that until everything else as well, that's fine. Um, but I just wait for some news, start the planning, but don't really pay anything big. I would say. Agreed. Agreed. Um, cool. I think that's everything. Some good questions there. Big, three big questions, I'd say. Big meaty big. questions. Yeah. Um, Hopefully we answer them okay for you. Uh, if you think we didn't, let us know in the comments. If we did, also let us know in the comments. More and that. And yeah, more that one. We need we need an ego boost of going, yep, yeah, good good answers. 
Um, but if you do have any questions which you do need answering, please write them in the comments below. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Cheers. Cool. Brilliant. Thank you. Bye.